we're into the blue. Let's pick this area here. Take in some of the French ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to pop some in just to see what it looks like. Better to have a colour than no colour. So let's lighten that up. We've got a bit of light grey here. Let's use a palette knife. Frequently it's a question of make a colour and stick it in. See what it looks like and then you can analyse it. We don't want too much paint on there but we do want some. Now there's lots of reflections, little highlights and bits and pieces. Keeping the big highlight so we don't lose the position of that. And uh, we'll also look at where that is as well, because I think it needs to come over slightly. Right, I'm now going to go for this colour in here. So let's pop this, have a quick look and see. I can use the um, one of the greys we mixed up for the background and I can adjust it. So let's have a quick look at this. So you can see that's too light. Yep, clearly you can see that's too light. Not, not a lot, but it is light. So add a bit of a dark. I'm going to pop a bit in and see what it looks like. So I'm adding and working the because it's transparent and not opaque, if one area is thicker than another, it'll appear to be darker. So I'm trying really hard to be mindful of not going too thick in one place. So just rubbing this across, a little bit of fluid to help it flow. Question everything you do as you're doing it. And if you see something that needs adjustment, then adjust it. Your objective is to copy what you see. So let's have a look at this. There's lights and darks. Obviously, you've got main mass color, and then you've got um, the dark and the highlights. So quite easily we could just go for the main mass colour straight away. And my mind, I'm just mindfully going too dark now on this, so I think what I'll also do is I'll just add a small amount, he says, of grey. Let's have a look and see what that's like before we commit to it. Turning the brush left and right, absurd. I get this paint on both sides of this brush. If we go too much into the grey or the background, then okay, no problem. I've brought the um, background down a little anyway, so we can we can grow it a, a little bit up. So let's uh, do that now. Just push that up a little bit. It's going to give us a soft edge, which in no way is a bad thing. Let's put the rest of that shape in. I'm going to use a mouse stick for this because I need a slightly awkward painting position. I 
I want to get a bit more warmth in this, um, so I'm popping a bit of alizarine straight on the brush and putting it straight into the painting. <laughs> 